the video from Wikislife.com. In this video, I'm going to see how well the Korg Mobwave Native works on a Windows touchscreen. I've got a Korg, a Korg a Mobwave here, the actual physical device, and that's um, and the Modwave Native is exactly the same one, but it runs in software. You get a discount if you've got one of these uh, devices already. The great thing about that is you can use the Modwave and all the controls and everything for uh, scound, sound sculpturing. And then in your door, you can just use the native version and then you're free to, to use the mod wave for the next track and so on. So I found that really hard. So you can have multiple instances of it. A bit of a convoluted setup I've got here. This is just, I'm using the standalone version and capturing it over the audio on the door over there. But that's how I normally use it. So I thought I'd see how well touch, uh, touch screens work with it. Also, Core have a wave state and an op six as well, native ones, which you can, uh, which use the same technology. So let's first, let's have a look at the at the Modwave native. So I've got this hooked up over MIDI to my actual Modwave. What I wanted to see is how well this works with the touch screen. So first of all, you can use the touch keyboard to test your, your sound design. But there's some useful stuff you can do on this. Um, the main thing on the mod wave is you've got the chaos pad where you can uh, adjust sound effects or adjust the sounds real time using this mod and there's physics and so on and that is exactly the same on here so you can see I've got the ball just the same and you've got the same effects with all the different physics on it as well so you can lower on the physics in and then you can control it. So you can control the sound real time. So I'm using multiple hands here, so I'll play a chord on the, um, this is just the Modwave native you're hearing now. You see a real time effect in that. And that is one of the great things with the touch screen is using that, is using them with that because you get some uh, really nice effects with the Chaos Pad. See if you can control that. So what you course you can do, you can you can have your MIDI track recorded and then you can use this real time and capture this real time as well. So it works really great for that. So that's one of the great things of using a, a touch beat. The other thing you've got you've got the uh the mod control, so on the uh physical you've got the four and you've got the four there as well, and you can control these with your finger just the same way, scroll up, scroll down, you just use your finger like that. So that works really well. In terms of sound editing, so this is the sound I've made. And you see, you can, and I'm using the um, DW8000 waveforms, and you can switch through them all using the touch screen like that. There's some other, other interesting things you can do with it, like with the envelope, so you can hear I've got a, that envelope, uh, like a bell envelope, and I can draw with my finger the envelope so actually you've got some control over I think that's, let's turn, that, turn the filter off, put the envelope up and you can see I've got that long uh, filter that's a bit too long let's shorten it there you go. so you've got some control over these envelopes as well as having the, the controls like that as well so it, it's a great way of being able to control those, and it's hand, handy for some other things like like a scaling. You can on the mod wave you can have two layers, an A and a B layer, so two different sounds. And here I've just created the split, and of course you can do this with the mouse, but you can do it like that, and the same with the velocity ranges as well. So you can you can use it, you can control everything through the touch as well, and all the pots as well. You can you can control. So here is it in play mode. And, it, and control all that. And like I said, you can, you've got real time control over all these parameters, just using touch. So it fits very much nice into your workflow. So you have to keep grabbing the mouse, you can just use the touch screen on there. So that's a quick look at using the Korg Modwave Native on a touchscreen. I'm using it on a uh, Microsoft Surface Laptop Studio, uh, but any other touchscreen should, should work with it. And it is great to be able to have both um, in your setup as well. Leave a comment in the questions if you've got anything you want to ask. 
and I'll do some more videos coming soon.